Hi, I'm Brady Olson, and this is the first of a two-part series that's going to teach you guys how to achieve proper holding. So the first two steps that we're going to talk about in how to achieve holding are setup and drawing. So when we're going to be talking about holding, it's not the normal holding that most people know about. Holding is a word that I'm going to use as being completely ready to shoot the shot. It's pretty much when you achieve holding, you have all the tension in your back and your and you have no tension in your hand and in your forearm and your bicep. Everything is loaded into the biggest muscles in your body that you're going to shoot with. And this step is going to help you perform at your best level. So now that we've covered grip and finger position and stance and posture, we can move into setup. Setup is a real simple step, but a very important one. Setup is going to allow you to continue your steel chain all the way through your shot. This is the first step that allows you to get all that pressure into your back right off the bat and get a lot of that tension out of your arm. And it's real simple. You're going to go from here at brace height, your fingers on the string, you're going to lift your front arm up, kind of pushing out on this arm so you keep this front shoulder down. So from here, and then you're going to come up and you're going to rotate at your core. Now what it does is rotating at your core through here is from here to here, I'm drawing my bow back by rotating my core. I'm not using my arm. I'm not going from here and then have to draw my arm all the way back. I'm able just to come up and rotate my body like this so that my core is actually doing all the work and I'm limiting the energy that my arm actually has to use. And when you're shooting a bunch of arrows a day or in them big pressure situations, this really helps. So now that we have the setup down, there's going to be a slight pause between setup and drawing. So you set up, and here, at the slight pause, you want to make sure that you have this front shoulder down and that you're loaded up onto your back so you can move in an angular motion back and not a linear motion. So this is what drawing looks like from the front. So you have set up, slight pause, and then drawing. 